how to stop emails stopping you working. Welcome to episode 150. I guess that's another milestone for Marketing for Owners podcast. My name's John Butt and I am your host as always. This show is brought to you by marketingforowners.com the website. If you go there, you can see all the previous podcasts, you can see the blog, and if you're listening on iTunes or Stitcher or SoundCloud, you can see the video. All of these are recorded as videos. Now, I apologise today if my face looks a little dark in this one, but it's darn sunny, and if I point the other way where my face is bright, I will be squinting and going like that, and that doesn't look too pretty. But I'm back in a wonderful blueberry field in South Surrey on the edge of Vancouver. Uh, I don't know when they pick these things, in a couple of months maybe, but these are fabulous. Look. Wow. I love blueberries. I have them every day when I'm here because they're a downside cheaper than in England. And they're lovely. All right, what was I saying? Emails. Ah, emails. The bane of our lives for a lot of people. But... There are ways to stop it. So this is your weekend challenge. It's a Friday, yeah, that's what we do. Every Friday, have a weekend challenge. Today, no different. We want you to grab a piece of paper, grab a pen. Do not type this on something electronic. Write it down, it works better with your brain. Now this is gonna be a long list and I'm going to read from a little couple of notes. So sorry if my eyes divert away. Uh, It may even not fit in our normal (laughs) graphic. So sorry, Jennifer, if you're trying to make the graphic and Harvey, if you're trying to edit, what can you do? So first of all, emails. Firstly, select regular times of the day to answer emails. In the old days, people used to write letters or they would phone you. Now, if you write a letter, they'd have to wait for a reply. They knew it was gonna take a while. If they phoned you, you're either there or you're not in. If you were not in, you may have had voicemail or an answer phone. They know you're not there, you'll get back to them later. It is the same with emails. It's too easy to reply straight away. Get people used to it. So select a time and it does not have to be the start. Get work done. Say something like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and then just dedicate an amount of time, 15 minutes, something like that. Do not get distracted. Next, use Gmail. Now I would say just use a cloud service. Do not use normal what I call webmail with your host, uh, hotmail and some, uh, or live, whatever it's called now. Just use Gmail or Google Apps. Same thing, but that's a bit more uh, for bigger businesses. Uh, we use both. Consolidate all your email addresses into that one place. Bring them all in so you deal with it from one Gmail account. Now we've talked about this before. It is very, very, very easy to bring them all in and answer from one Gmail account as every email address that comes in. Gmail does that. It's called POP3 forwarding and something like that. Don't ask me. But it does it and it tells you how to do it. I think we might even have an instruction somewhere. No excuse. Unsubscribe from all the garbage that you keep looking at and thinking, uh, and then deleting. Just unsubscribe from it. You don't need to know it. If you need to know, you can Google it and you'll find the information that they send you. It's not a secret. When they send it to their 10,000, 50, 100,000 email subscribers, it's not secret information, okay? Use an app called unroll.me. Very clever. Next thing, filter things into into folders to keep your inbox clean. If there's something that you want that you need, say invoices that come into uh, your accounts address, filter them direct into the accounts one. You don't need to be reading those, do you? Just filter stuff. If you've got newsletters that you actually want to keep, filter them into a newsletter thing, a newsletter folder, avoid the inbox, and then read them when you want to read them, which is probably never. Then, if you can't answer immediately, can't deal with it and answer, don't leave it there and say, I'll do that later. Boomerang it. Use an app called Boomerang. Again, free. 
and it comes back to you, set it to send it again tomorrow, the next day, two days time, a week's time. Only deal with stuff, uh, only get things done. If you can't get them done, delete them or archive them, okay? Keep that inbox clean. Use an auto reply to explain to people that, uh, thank you, we've received your message. I answer emails between da 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 time and da 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 time on these days. If it's outside of that and very urgent, please telephone us. Don't give them the phone number. If it's urgent and they need to ring you, they'll have the phone number. This this explains, do it politely, don't do it rude or curtly, just do it very politely. Quite a lot of people do this, sets expectations as they are, they can always phone you. Don't reply with inane short answers saying, thanks, great, lol. Don't use waste of time, email thread extending uh, answers. You know those ones where people have, they've given you, given you the answer and someone says, says thanks. And then you say, no problem. And then they go, LOL. What a waste of time. You're wasting each other's time. Send your answer, done. Use Evernote or Trello or Rike. Rike is W-R-I-K-E. To manage projects. Don't manage them from within your email inbox. It's not what it's for. These things have free uh, Evernote and Trello are free. Trike has a Rike has a free trial. Don't know if it's got a free level, might have a free level, but it's certainly got a free trial. Anyway, go to marketingforowners.com forward slash 71 and grab our 71 ultimate tools. You'll find all of the things that we use to run our business. We don't get stuck with emails. It's free, by the way, no problem. Use a CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software, such as, uh, I've put down Insightly, it's in our list, uh, for managing your, uh, keeping in touch with clients and managing um, the way you deal with them. Again, don't do it in your email. Then finally, separate your personal and your work emails and do not answer personal emails during your working day. If you work for somebody and, uh, and uh, sorry, if you had an employee and they were getting phone calls from their friends in the day and answering them sitting at the desk, how would you feel? Yes, that's the same for you. Obviously, no one's going to tell you any different. Why should you be any different? Why are you dealing with personal stuff? Remember I said uh, before emails, before mobile phones, before all that stuff, we used to use telephones and letters. People contacted you in the evening when you're home. They, don't, they couldn't contact you in the day. And the world survived and the world got to where it is now without any trouble. This is your weekend challenge to clean up your email. Deal with it, make it a habit. It's, this won't happen overnight, make it a habit. And then that's one thing off your plate. You don't have to complain about it anymore and you can get things done. Ta-da! Anyway, have a super weekend. It's going to be lovely and sunny in Canada. I don't know what it's going to be like where you are, but I hope it's the same. I will see you next week.